While Mariah Carey has long owned a glamorous penthouse in Manhattan and rented a mega mansion in Bedford, New York during the pandemic, word is that she's bought herself some new real estate. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, Mariah's latest acquisition is a southern colonial style mansion spanning 13,000 square feet of space that once was leased by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. With all of its luxury features including a massive white marble kitchen, movie theater and much more, it's fit for a queen like Mimi. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and this one looking at Mariah Carey's new mansion and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit Hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In May 2022, it was reported that Mariah had been spending Easter at her newly purchased home in Atlanta, Georgia. Word is that the songsters purchased the home for $5.65 million in an off-market deal in late 2021, and it has some other celebrity history. It was leased by Dwayne The Rock Johnson a couple of years back. Not to mention during his stay, he single-handedly ripped the mansion's massive raw iron driveway gates right off their brick pillars after the power went out, and he was trapped on the property while cast and crew waited for him on set. Anyways, the Southern Colonial Style Mansion is located in the posh and exclusive neighborhood of Sandy Springs in Atlanta, situated on 4.2 acres of land with rolling lawns and trees for privacy. It also appears those front gates have been put back in place. Past the Hulking Gates, the grand property is fronted by an impressive driveway, stairs, and stately pillars before you walk in the door. Interiors offer over 12,500 square feet of space along with 9 bedrooms, 8 full baths and 5 half baths. As you might expect, Mariah didn't move in without making some touches of her own and sprinkling her signature glitter about. She got rid of a ton of the over-the-top traditional wallpaper for a fresher look and added a pink and cream rug and glitzy pink chandelier in the double height entryway. Not to mention Mimi decked her master suite out with a tufted velvet headboard. Despite the home being built in 1992, photos show that it's been transformed into a more contemporary space with a lot of bright white walls, including in the main living room and the kitchen. The spacious living area offers high white ceilings, hardwood flooring, a fireplace, and a mounted TV, along with sets of French doors out to the mansion's grounds. The massive kitchen is another highlight of Mariah's mansion, with its white marble theme including a massive marble center island, offering up bar-style seats for about 10 guests. Here, there's also top-of-the-line appliances and a couple of prep areas. Other features in her Sandy Springs mansion include a premium home movie theater and mirror wall gym. Aside from her velvet headboard, Mimi's master suite also boasts a separate sitting area, fireplace, and French doors while the attached bathroom is spacious enough to include a vanity area, separate shower, and tub. Outside on the grounds, you'll find a swimming pool and pool house set in a private area amongst the trees as well as a roomy guest apartment with fireplace and elsewhere a children's playground. The grassy and rolling lawns in her property also have mature trees and greenery bordering all of it for extra seclusion. Of course, when Mariah is craving the hustle and bustle of the city, she can head over to her longtime Manhattan penthouse. She acquired this New York City property in 2000 for an unrecorded amount and it was done up to the nines by decorator Mario Buada before it was featured in Architectural Digest. Mariah purchased her lavish penthouse triplex in the Franklin Tower, a 17-story condo redevelopment that used to be a bank back in the 30s. Mariah lives in the famed Tribeca neighborhood and apparently the main penthouse alone cost her $5.5 million. Then she went on to purchase the unit just below to combine them. While we don't know the exact amounts, it likely cost her about $10 million, not including the 
the renovations. And let's not forget, she bought these years ago. Mariah's mansion-sized penthouse boasts nearly 13,000 square feet of space, four beds, and 4.5 baths right in the heart of Manhattan. When the place was custom designed, there were influences of Art Deco, which the building's architecture also reflected. There are bronze limestone floors throughout and an opulent chandelier in the entryway, while the living room doors are decked out in silver leaf. Back in the day, Mariah showed off her apartment for MTV Cribs, but she's definitely freshened things up since then. We also know that the singer loves her kitchen, as she likes to entertain and cook. When she's not cooking up her signature pasta sauce, Mimi can retreat to her master suite, which has stunning city views and one of the most amazing qualities closets ever. Her massive custom walk-in closet has room for any shoe, special outfit or bag that you could imagine, and Mariah loves to put it all on display. Other features of Mariah's penthouse include a whole movie theater with an aquarium on one of the walls and an under the sea vibe as well as a spacious rooftop terrace that would have any New Yorker jealous. There's an entire seating area outside as well as a hot tub overlooking city lights. Even when Mariah isn't purchasing homes, she even rents the most glamorous places. Take for instance during the pandemic when she rented out a crib for herself, her kids and her staff, located just about an hour outside of Manhattan in Bedford, New York. Located in an upscale gated enclave called Bedford Corners, this mansion last sold in 2021 for $4.8 million to a former Wall Street executive who spent a fortune turning the mansion into a high-tech heaven for the uber wealthy. So we know the price tag to rent it would have been substantial. The home sat on over five acres of landscaped grounds with interior is boasting 10,500 square feet, six bedrooms, seven baths, four powder rooms, and an elevator. Built in 2006, the stone-accented manor was decked out recently with all the state-of-the-art technology you could imagine, including a home automation system and a security system with over 20 cameras and a biometric keyless entry. Some of the grand living spaces here included the entryway with curving staircase, formal dining room and living room with shiny black marble fireplace and nook of windows. There was also a wood paneled library with light up bookcases and fireplace with carved line heads, as well as a large sunny family room and gourmet kitchen. An extra basement level boasted a games room, media lounge with 900 gallon saltwater fish tank, light filled home gym, and of course a theater with a wet bar. Aside from the glamorous and epic bedrooms, especially the master suite, the impressive features continued outside. There were heated stone terraces, an outdoor shower, fire pit, sports court, gardens, and much more. No doubt though, the main attraction back here was the one-of-a-kind pool. The 90-foot-long violin-shaped swimming pool cost a reported $1 million to build, containing 50,000 gallons of water and covered in about half a million glass tiles with light-up fiber optic strands. The attached spa is part of the violin as the chin rests, and the bow was made up of two koi ponds. Safe to say, Mimi and her crew enjoyed their time living here. Well, now we've checked out the homes of Mariah Carey, including her latest real estate purchase, her new home in Sandy Springs, Georgia. After seeing a few of her homes, past and present, which was your favorite? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.